Welcome back to the History Geek. Today, we're going to talk about a powerful woman. If I ask someone, what does a hero look like? Most people will show me this. Or this. Or even this. But what if I tell you there's one superhero that looks like this? Elizabeth Freeman, known as Mom Bet, was a slave owned by a powerful couple, the Ashley family in the state of Massachusetts. Massachusetts was the first colony in New England with slave ownership, and it was a center for slave trade throughout the 17th and 18th century. So slavery was very strong at the time of Mom Bet's story. Elizabeth Freeman and her little sister worked for this family for almost 40 years. Sounds like a lifetime, huh? Well, most people say it's long enough for them to care for each other. But this wasn't the case. One day, Mrs. Ashley got so mad with Mom Beth's si little sister that she tried to hit her with a kitchen shovel. A heated kitchen shovel. Yup, as you've heard. Not a tablespoon, less more a teaspoon. It was a shovel. A heated shovel. But here comes her hero again. Elizabeth Freeman received the blow for her sister. Very brave indeed. As brave as she was, she grabbed her things and left the house with no plans of returning. Mr. Ashley wasn't gonna let this happen, so he appealed to the law for her return. But also, Elizabeth Freeman wouldn't give up so easily, so she hired Theodore Sedgwick. Theodore Sedgwick was a lawyer with an anti-slavery sentiment. Yes! Perfect target! Mom Beth have heard their masters talk about the Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights was a part of the U.S. Constitution made by James Madison that protected individual liberties. This she stated that if all people were born free and equal, she deserved that too. She, with the help of another Ashley slave called Brom, achieved her goal and gained her freedom. Mom Bet, along with Brom, went to a county court. The jury went in favor of them, as Sedwick argued that the Massachusetts Constitution claimed that all people were born free and equal, and that should be end slavery. Mom Bet and Brom were the first African-American slaves to be freed under the Constitution of Massachusetts in 1780. The court ordered that the Ashley family had to pay 30 shillings on the cost courts for Mom Bet and Brom. Mom Bet went to work with Sedgwick and his family and finally had her happy ending. But why is this slave so important? Freedom was really important for her, as she said. Any time while I was a slave, if one minute's freedom had been offered to me and I had been told that I must die at the end of that minute, I would have taken it just to stand one minute on God's earth as free woman. She was willing to die for her freedom and never gave up. What a hero, huh? She helped bring the end of slavery in Massachusetts, giving hope to all the slaves that were seeking also for her freedom. But why is her story so important and why is she considered a hero? To explain this, let's go back to where she got inspired for fight for her freedom. After the Seven Year War, a group called Sons of Liberty was created. They were anti-British American patriots that fought for their freedom. Sons of Liberty were the most important in the inspiration for Mom Bet, being a group of women who represent the beginning of the active participation of women. They were organized in order to make homespun subtitles in different cities. Since women often purchased goods for the home, the Daughters of Liberty became instrumental in upholding the boycott, particularly where tea was concerned. They encouraged people to use substitutes like coffee. So after this, coffee became more popular than tea. Starbucks better thank the Daughters of Liberty for its popularity. This would be an important fact in Mambeth's story, because this woman, just like Mambeth, encouraged other women to participate and fight for independence, and also for having a voice. Finally, on the evening of March 5, 1760, a crowd of laborers threw snowballs at Soldiers Guardian the Costume House, event that occurred in Boston. People all around the United States were fighting for their freedom. Women, colonists, laborers. And now, it's time for the slaves. Before the American Revolution, also known as the American Revolutionary War, or the U.S. War of Independence, slavery had extended throughout the colonies. It is said that slaves in Massachusetts were treated better than the slaves in the South. But still, there were masters like Elizabeth Freeman's ones who treated their slaves inhumanly. 
The American Revolution was the war that the U.S. started to achieve their freedom. It ended up with the Declaration of Independence, written by Thomas Jefferson, where it said, All men are born free and equal. But apparently, men wasn't referring to slaves. So slaves still wanted to obtain their freedom. This is why Mabed is a hero. She showed courage and fought for her freedom, giving hope and opportunities to other slaves. Mambet is recognized for being an African-American slave woman that demonstrated freedom was something worth fighting for, and if you fight for it with your heart, you can achieve many things. Now you see why she's a hero? She's like Moses from the Bible, who encouraged people to escape from Egypt. Although in the case of Mambet, she didn't literally help them escape, but she gave hope to the slaves to fight for their freedom. Thanks to us, now you have one more hero to consider in your list. Thanks for watching and see you next time on History Geek.